Hi everyone, it's Karen here with a mixed media texture tree artboard as a guest designer for N Studio Artful Adventure Stroll Challenge. My prompt word is ground, and this is the picture I took inspired by that prompt. And this is the project that I created inspired by the picture, which is the whole purpose of this art stroll challenge. And it's based on Natalie Kalbach's new book artful adventures in mixed media which is linked below along with all the other products so the key is to take a picture inspired by a prompt word and then create a project inspired by that picture as a substrate i use an 8x10 artboard from canson these are very thick chipboard like boards that you can put mixed media on and they're pretty thick that they will not work when you put all the mediums on I took the Crafters Workshop clear modeling paste, which is really thick, and I just applied it to the bottom of my artboard. I used a palette knife to just spread it at the bottom to create kind of the ground for my composition. I wanted to create texture on the paste, so I heat set it a little bit to have it surface dry. And then I took an uh, studio stamp from Stampendous, designed by Natalie Kalbach. This is called Mish Mesh. And I just pressed it into the paste and it created really nice texture for this area. I just missed a few spots, so I just went back and put a little bit more paste, heat set it, and then stamped it again. Make sure you wash the stamp really well after you used it with on the paste. I took a pencil and I quickly drew the tree with branches just to make sure I would have a rough guideline to where I wanted to have the tree. Then I started building the tree. I used some plaster, which I bought in a roll, and I just uh, wet, it, wet it, cut it into strips, and then wet it to create the textured tree. I used some 3D matte gel just to make sure that the plaster would stick to my substrate. So I put the gel, and then I wet the strip, and then crunched it up and created the trunk and then the branches. Here you can see how I needed more strips so it, I just took out the roll that was in my bag and just cut a few more strips on um, so I could use for the rest of the tree. This plaster reminds me of what they used to use to make casts for people when they bro broke their arms or legs. I think they use more advanced stuff now, but this is really cool to create, to use in art and create really 3D images and textures for each thing. And you can really work with it as it, you can maneuver it and then it dries really quickly.
didn't take that long to dry and then I took my Prima Finabare brush paste set and started painting the tree and the ground and everything around it. I started with the darkest color which is the dark brown and I just basically painted everything in the dark brown so I could add the other colors on top after. I took the dark brown and I actually diluted it a little bit with water so it would be easier to apply over the texture and it worked really nicely as it looked really nice and smooth on the tree. The next color I added was the red rust paste and here I went in with my brush but this time I didn't go and use it everywhere. After diluting it with some water I just added some highlights in some areas of the tree. I didn't want to cover the whole ground or the whole tree because I really wanted to have those deeper dark brown colors underneath and then just have the red on top. Finally, I went in with my the third color of the set, which is the gold color, and I did the same thing. I diluted it with a little bit of water, and then I actually painted some areas to create highlights on the branches and on the trees, kind of making it seem as if the light was coming from above. So I didn't add it everywhere, I only added it in the places as where the light was touching it in the picture. To create the background sky, I wanted to create to use a very different contrasting color to the tree. So I took some Heidi Swap paste. This is the teal color and it's a little bit shimmery. And I took it and I basically covered the background using a palette knife. Uh, this is a it's kind of like a technique where I patted down the paste to create this really nice texture in the background. really nice bright teal is inspired by another prompt word from this challenge. This is from the word sky where I took a picture of a beautiful bright blue sky and I just use this color to just create the sky and I feel like the ridges and the little texture looks like clouds in the background which is exactly like the picture that I took here. That bright blue sky that you saw really inspired me to create a very bright blue sky at the back of this picture, even though the original picture that I took that represented ground really did not have a sky behind it. I went around the whole artboard and just kind of turned it around to be able to get in between the branches with my small palette knife.
To get some of the highlights on the tree, I took some Prima Marketing Finnevere Art Alchemy Wax in the vintage silk color and started adding some of it with my finger on the tree just to highlight the different textures and bring some light to the tree. One of the things that I like doing when I use these waxes is actually using my finger to apply them because I find I have the most control and I can put them in small places and add them exactly where I want them. Then I use the same wax to just highlight some of the textured area on the sky part in the background because I really wanted it to look like the picture that I had taken with the clouds. I still felt like the tree needed a little bit more highlights. This time I took the gold, vintage gold color from the waxes and I just added a few more highlights with the gold. Then I took the rich copper wax and again added just a few small highlights in this really nice bright copper color. Finally, I took the vintage gold back and created a border around the artboard by blending in the edges. The last thing I did is added a title at the bottom along the ground and it says um, rooted to the ground. I stuck the stickers before and then I took some soft matte gel medium from Prima and just sealed it to the background. So not only did the tree and the roots were inspired by the word ground, which was what my prompt for this challenge, but also what I wrote the actual words really felt like they connected everything together. I really love the texture of the tree, especially the roots and the branches. It really reminds me of the picture that I took from the prompt ground and it really inspired me to create this beautiful textured brown tree. Thank you so much for watching. For more inspiration, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye!